Hi, my friends. It's Miss Beth, and I am here to share a fantastic winter story with you. It's officially December, and it's Michigan, so that means it's cold and then wet and rainy and maybe even hot. But we're going to pretend that it's going to stay winter for a little while, and let's focus on some winter stories. I like that idea. The book I'm going to read today is about bear. Ooh, let me go this side. Oh, there you can see it a little better, I think. I know it's kind of glary. This book is called Bear Snores On, and it's by Karma Wilson. And it is published by Kid Simon & Schuster. So that publisher lets the library and me share these books with you. So let's say thank you. Thank you to the publishers for letting us share these great books with you. There are lots of books about bear, bear, that Karma Wilson writes. So this bear has all kinds of adventures. So if you like this book, you're sure to like some of the others, and they are not all winter stories. Now, before we get started, the book is called Bear Snores On. So I have to ask you, do you snore? No, of course you don't snore. Do your parents snore? It's okay, you can tell me. I won't tell them. Oh. So you know what snoring sounds like, right? Can you make a little snore? <sighs> That's a little quiet one. How about a little bit bigger? Oh, that one is louder. Now do your loudest snore you can. Oh, that was super loud. I kind of scared myself. Did I scare you? Well, you were loud too, you sillies. All right, I'm going to need your help. So when I say bear snores on, you give me a great snore. I don't care if it's a little or a medium snore or a great big snore. Just give me a snore, okay? Here we go. In a cave in the woods in his deep dark lair, through the long cold winter sleeps a great brown bear. I'm going to just pop my head out a little bit so I can see what you guys see and make sure I'm showing you the pictures. So do you see the bear? He's huddled in there all cold, isn't he? Or is he warm because he's got fur? I bet he is warm. Cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight. Sleep. He sleeps through the day and he sleeps through the night. The cold winds howl and the night sounds growl. Let's do that again and let's howl with the wind. The cold winds howl, and the night sounds growl, but bear snores on. <sighs> he is really tired, isn't he? An itty bitty mouse pitter pat tiptoe creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. Mouse squeaks, too damp, too big, too dark. So he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. So here he's climbing in, and here he's making a fire. That sounds good, doesn't it? Ooh, a roasty toasty fire. The coals pit pop, and the wind doesn't stop, but bear snores on. <sighs> Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? And a hare hops in. Ho, mouse, says the hare. Long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew. Black tea. Ooh, they're having a snack. That sounds yummy. It's almost lunchtime. I need a snack too. Mouse sips, we slurps. And hair burps, big burps. <clears throat> but bear 
snores on. Give me a big snore. Oh, that was a big snore. A badger scuttles by, sniff, snuff at the air. I smell yummy yums. Perhaps we can share. I brought honey nuts, Badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down, and dig in. Oh, nice. Our friends come to visit and keep warm. And he brought more snacks. I am loving this. They nibble and they munch with a chew. A chomp and a crunch. But bear snores on. Could you sleep through all of that? I don't think I could. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor, then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. Mole mutters, what a night. What a storm, twitters Wren, and everyone clutters in the great bear's den. So here are our friends coming up through the floor, and now everyone, and in, the, in through the door, we'll call it, and then everyone is cozied up together. They tweet and they titter, they chat and they chitter. But the bear snores on. Big snore. Wow, that was big. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. They're having a party, and bears sound asleep. Hair stokes the fire, and mouse seasons the stew. What's going on over here? Then a small pepper fleck makes the bear. Uh-oh. What's going to happen? <gasps> ah, Oh no, he sneezed. He blows and he sneezes and the whole crowd. Did you see them frozen? Look how big their eyes are. Did you make your eyes big? Like that? Oh, was that scary or what? The bear wakes up. He gnarls and he snarls and he roars and he rumbles. He jumps and he stomps, he growls, and he grumbles. Uh-oh. He's not very happy waking up. Do you wake up not happy? I wake up not happy. You snuck in my lair and you've had all the fun but me. I was sleeping. I have had none. And he whimpers and he moans and he wails and he groans and bear blubbers on. Mouse squeaks, don't press, fuss, don't fret. Look, see, we can pop more corn and we can brew more tea. Oh, they're going to make more. Bear gulps and he gobbles. He sighs with delight and then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, Bear can't sleep. But his friends snore on. <coughs> Did you like that? How nice. Bear's a good friend too, isn't he? Yeah, he's cuddling all his friends, making sure they stay warm and cozy and happy in his lair. So whatever the weather is outside today, it doesn't matter. 
we can be warm and cozy and snuggly in our very own layer. Maybe today, before you take a nap or before bedtime, you can grab a cozy blanket or a warm, snuggly spot with your adult, and you can share a book together before you head off to sweet dreams. I hope you enjoyed this book today, and I hope you have a great rest of your day and an even better tomorrow. Bye, my friends, until I see you next time. Mwah.